okay this is the subtraction of integers so first thing we're going to be learning here is the subtraction rule so let me write here subtraction subtraction rule once we understand the subtraction rule we should have no problem in subtracting integers so uh, notice that we have this number line here is zero here we have positive as you go to the right hand side we have more negatives going to the left hand side okay so um, the subtraction problem that we have here is as follows so, so this is our example so let's give this example to be um, three take away um, say two all right so the subtraction problem three take away two can be thought of as taking away two from three okay that is what it is actually and we can use a number line to illustrate this so let's begin to begin first of all we look at the number three and how far is three from the zero well here's the three here's zero so from here let's put this piece here from zero to three this is the amount of units okay so that's three this is where we began and that's where it ended for that one there and we are going to take away two so when we went three forward we know came back two one two which is at this point here okay and this is the two units so remember the positive value went to your right hand side the negative went to the left hand side okay this now is our solution which then gives us zero to one which is one unit so that's one all right so let's go back again know that, the, that this illustration here represents addition or saying the next way of to, to say this is to say three plus negative two okay we see that subtracting two from three we end up with one it, and that is the same thing as to say adding opposites okay so opposite of four to six i mean two to two, two three so we add the opposite remember we we already know what's an absolute value so if you have a negative here just consider all of them to be positive that's the absolute value and then take away this this small one from this one here and keep the sign of the larger value those things what you can use right so from this we can say that the rule for subtraction is as follows so subtraction rule our rule to subtract and this is going to give you in general to subtract two integers but not and this doesn't mean that you can only subtract two in integer you work two at a time all right add the first integer to the opposite which is the additive inverse okay of the integer to be subtracted let's go and digest this information to subtract two integers as if this one here add the first integer to the opposite additive inverse of the integer to be subtracted in simple terms this is what you're doing you look at your, at your two integers there take away the smallest from the largest by making them both of them absolute then keep the sign of the largest value which in this case was positive which is there and this is also positive one okay the positive is not necessary for you to to, to write it down because it is understood as it being positive okay so now let's do some more examples 
examples. Say subtract and check the results. So we will be subtracting and making sure that these results are correct. All right. So here we have negative eight minus five. That's example one. B we have four minus a negative six and then C we have um, nine take away 15 to find each difference we will apply the rule for subtraction which we just went through we'll add the first integer to the opposite of the integer to be subtracted why because it is easier to make an error when subtracting sign numbers all right we will probably we will probably be more accurate if we write each subtraction as addition of the opposite okay so our solution for the first one this is red as to say negative 8 minus 5 negative 8 minus 5 okay from here the number to be subtracted is 5 subtracting 5 is the same as adding its opposite okay so let's go here we see we put it here as to put equals underneath and we can put here as we say negative 8 plus negative 5 that's what the subtraction rule says and so we keep our sign and we add the two numerical values which then gives us 13 use the rules for adding two integers with the same sign use the rules for adding two integers of the same sign so notice now it is not as if we're just saying subtracting let's go back to the subtraction rule we'll keep them as if we're adding okay because we we are we, we are adding them so therefore we put negative 13 and that's our solution for that one there now to check we we will add the difference all right and the so to check this we will add the difference so we come here and this is how you're going to do it. i'm going to write it in blue negative 13 and the subtrend of 5 okay we get the menu end right so here we put negative 13 plus 5 which then gives us negative 8 so it is correct and so therefore we get back to our solution that it is correct so this is the way you can prove it you don't need to prove it if you're not asked to prove it but it's only for your own purpose if you want to make sure that it is correct all right now um look at the next problem now we have here four minus negative six the number to be subtracted is negative 6 all right so therefore we go and we write it we add y because these are opposites all right so therefore let me write this in blue we put put here plus no 4 plus 6 and then that is going to give us 10 that's our solution okay let's check it we have here 10 plus the negative 6 and that gives us 4 so that's correct all right let me zoom in a little bit more next one there we have 9 minus 15 number to be subtracted is 15 subtracting 15 is the same as adding its opposite okay so therefore we go and we will write this as to say um, 9 plus negative 15 we're writing it as its opposite this now gives us negative 6 that's our solution all right let's take negative 6 now and we'll see now negative 6 plus plus the 15 
and that is going to give us 9. So that's correct. So our solutions are very straightforward. Remember, just taking them as its opposite for us to work them out. Alright? Now in word format, very important. If we're given a word format, because sometimes we tend to have a problem with the English language, what what is being asked to subtract from, from what? So we'll be looking at two examples when you're given a word format. You cannot run away from word format. So let me give you a few examples now. Here we have example. And it's stated, let me put it here, subtract negative 10 from negative 7. The other example is going to be subtract negative 6 from negative 10. Alright, so notice I have a smaller number first, bigger number. So bigger, smaller. So we can see the, the difference. Okay? Okay, so now, here we go. We will translate each phrase to mathematical symbols because this is what we will need to do. These phrases are going to be transferred to mathematical symbols. Okay? And then perform the subtraction. We must be careful when translating the instructions to, to subtract one number from another. Alright, so we have to be care, care, careful who is being subtracted from the other number. The order of the numbers in each word phrase must be reversed when we translate it to mathematical symbols. Remember this piece here. The order of the numbers in each phrase must be reversed when we translate it to mathematical symbols. That's the key part there. So our solution for this one here. Since, okay, since negative 10 is the number to be subtracted, we reverse the order in which negative, negative 10 um, from negative, se negative 7 appear in this sentence here. So let's put it this way. We take here, we put that the negative 7 will come forward. Remember, this, this is being subtracted from negative 7. So let's put the negative 7 first. Negative 7. Take away, subtract, negative 10. That is mathematically correct now. Alright? So, we will use parentheses. So we show that it is being subtracted. Okay? Next step. Since we are at this point now, to find the difference now, we'll we will write the subtraction as addition of the opposite. Why? Because of these two negatives. So our next step will then be negative 7 plus 10. And that gives us positive 3. Now, addition of two different integers. Okay? Let's go with the next one now. Since negative 6 is being subtracted from negative 10, the rule says reverse their position. So we put negative 10 first. I put minus negative 6. Okay? And then from there, we look at these two negatives. So that becomes now negative 10 plus 6, which is then negative 4. And that's our solution. That's the subtraction of it all right so that's not difficult just remember in any subtraction can be written as addition of the opposite of the number to be subtracted in any subtraction so in any subtraction it can be written as addition it can be written remember any subtraction here and here can be written as the addition of the opposite of the number to be subtracted that's the the key point there